What are you doing? How do you see me? You say ah. Hey, you want to get some hot dogs? Hot dogs? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Fine. Woo! -hoo! Thank God you didn't die just then. Hot diggity dog. We are right now on our way to eat three of the best hot dogs at three drastically different price points to find out which one is the most worth it at its price. What makes a good hot dog? It's really about the, the whole package. You need a good bun. Are you a bun guy? I mean, I'm not just eating hot dogs without buns. That's disgusting. Look at that. That's a falcon on the fence right there. Wait, don't take the whole thing off. Don't scare it. No! Wow. My name is William Fidel. You're at Vicious Dogs Restaurant in North Hollywood. We serve hot dogs galore. And where does the name come from? Years and years ago when we used to eat hot dogs over actually at Pink's, we used to always say, boy, these dogs are vicious because, you know, we just enjoyed eating hot dogs. So Vicious Dogs is from an L.A. hot dog upbringing. Absolutely. Today I'm going to be serving you my basic hot dog. It's $1.99 and we're going to top it with ketchup, mustard, relish, onions. It is the most traditional hot dog in Los Angeles, actually across America. The secret is making sure that you find the best quality quality hot dog, start there, and you finish there. He recommended that we get the hot dog with a fries and a Coke. That's it. We got these hot peppers for our hot dogs. What are they for? For burning your butt hole. Hot dog high five. Let's go. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> for a hot dog, I like to have that snap back when I bite into a hot dog. Yeah, and you get that That's here. important. Bun is soft, but not mushy. It doesn't like crumble or get too damp in your fingers. It's just nice. Wholesome, satisfying. Perfect. I wanted to. More fried, you want it? Sucks to suck. Good. And then after that, I'm gonna make you my favorite hot dog, which is my signature sweet and spicy kielbasa. It's an actual one third pound kielbasa. We charboil it to perfection. We put sweet chili glaze on there, grilled onions, grilled peppers. We put it snugly in a little poppy seed, but it is that good. And then my signature dog is $6. Out of the 100 plus hot dogs that we've created here, every single one of them has its own distinct flavor. This is a much more formidable hot dog. Start them built, and now we eat it. Ooh. You know? That is a hot That's dog. pretty good. That's pretty great. The sweetness really plays with the smokiness. I just love how when you bite into it, it's like you're just getting a big hunk of meat. I don't want to finish it because I want to continue savoring it. I want to finish it. Ooh, I better do good. Hot dog, hot diggity dog. Let's go. He likes it. <laughs> Camera guy, he's smiling. All right, place two. <laughs> the hot dog was a hot dog, and that's what I liked about it. It wasn't mind blowing, but it was satisfying. Where else can you get an item of food that will fill you up for $2? You know what I'm ready for? Hot dog facts. Give me your hot dog facts. Hot dogs are not dogs. Hot dog facts. H O T. Hot dog facts. Hot fact. dog facts. Mickey Mouse's first words were hot dog. Really? Yeah. Hot dog. <laughs> Did he say it like that? <laughs> Ooh, can I get a hot dog, please? The next place, I don't know how to pronounce it though, because it's a German name. I think it's pronounced Wurst. Kush. Hopefully they can teach how to say the name of the restaurant. Yeah, hopefully they know the place that they work. So Steve and Andrew, well, welcome to Wurstkuka. Today we're gonna eat- Oh, that's how you pronounce it. Wurstkuka. My cousin and I opened this store in 2008 here in the Arts District. Since then, we've been serving nothing other than beer, sausage, and Belgian-style fries. Perfect, perfect combination. So the name and the overall format is reminiscent of like a German beer hall. Your first time to the restaurant, you're gonna walk into a dining room that is just warm, fun, and inviting. Once you sit down, you've already paid for your food. One other beer, you go get one. If you just wanna hang out and draw on the tables and talk, you go for it. We're gonna get started with the lamb sausage, completely pork free for anybody who chooses not to eat pork. Our sausages have a choice of four toppings. Caramelized onions, sweet peppers, spicy peppers, and sauerkraut. I do have a question. I am actually not a beer guy. Do you have a beer recommendation though Absolutely. for somebody like me? The first one I'm gonna recommend would be Dutch's de Begonia. You're either gonna love it or you're gonna be like, uh, really? So we're starting off with the beer that he recommended. The Dutch's de Bourguignon. Really, it's goddamn fruit punch. This is my kind of beer. No, it's delicious, but it's like, Adam, tell me what this tastes like. This is Starburst. So first up is lamb with Mediterranean spices. They want to make sure all of the sausages are four ounces. The lamb is actually two ounces per sausage. So they double up and they put two in one bun. It's like us two. Is Adam the bun? <laughs> You're the bun that holds us together, Adam. All right, I'm gonna get the mustard. Do not eat anything when I'm gone. I'll be right back. Hey! 
So he recommended the spicy brown as his favorite. High five. Up high? Yeah. Down, Down low. low. In, in the space. middle. Huh? In your face. You like the taste of lamb? Oh yeah. Everybody is so satisfying. Cause you get that snap every single time. Here you get two snaps. Double barrel sausage. Very lamby, true to its name. And it is a bit of a muskier flavor. This is gonna be the best lamb sausage you ever ate. Oh boy. I'm in love. And then we have a fun one, the rattlesnake and rabbit, which is one of our top sellers. So when we order the rattlesnake, what happens in the kitchen? The world of sausage hasn't changed ever. Sausages are made ahead of time, and when you order it, we throw it on the grill. The first sausage we've had that's shaped like the animal it comes from. Ooh, it smells nice and spicy. Very interesting. And the more I eat, the more I'm into it. It's a lot gamier taste, but it is really good. I have had like crocodile meat, and it was as close to that as any other meat I've ever had. I think this is the most you've ever eaten on an episode. Because I love hot dogs. I'm a hot dog honcho. Blammo. And now with our final hot dog fact. Hot dog fact! <laughs> the most expensive hot dog is $169, and it exists in Seattle, Washington. Hmm. Foreshadowing! <laughs> what? We're going to Seattle, Washington, baby! For this video? Yes! We're meeting tomorrow at the airport at 4.30 a.m. and we're going to Seattle. 4.30 a.m.? <laughs> Hot dog fact, I'm not doing that. Yeah, you are. Bada beam, bada boom. Sausage dance. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Dog. We have flown many, many miles to come to the most expensive hot dog in the world, which I had to order, by the way, two weeks ago. All the trees are changing color. It's beautiful as f What could make these hot dogs better than the sausages we had at Verscucha? I just can't think straight. I ate hot dogs all of yesterday. You're living the dream. The dream, I'm telling you. We're here today at Toki Dog Food Truck. I'm Eugene. This is Samson. We are co-creators of the most expensive hot dog in the world. It's $169. Here is the Guinness World Record plaque. Oh, so it's official. Tell us a little more about Tokyo Dog. We were both in the tech industry about five years ago and was like, well, what would be fun is to open a food truck. How did you come up with this crazy hot dog? We wanted to do something really fun and bring the record home. And it's a fundraising hot dog. We donated all the proceeds to the Red Cross. We spent about three months creating this hot dog and we came up with Fomen Brioche Man smoked cheese bratwurst, foie gras, wagyu beef, maitake mushrooms, butter teriyaki onions, Japanese mayo, black truffles, caviar, and it is phenomenal. We flew all the way from LA to try this hot dog. Can you not devour this one so fast? Yeah, I have a problem eating things a little bit too quickly, not savoring them, but I think this one is gonna require some special attention. We've reached the final place. After it's 1,690 miles of traveling. The $169 Juni Ban dog. We usually drink wine at the last spot, but... Well, this is the wine of Japan. I don't think that's true. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, this is so good. Everything on this we've had in some shape or form, except, except for the caviar. This is a lot more food than a lot of the other dogs. Uh, this is like the Titanic of hot dogs. Yeah, and I am the iceberg about to take this bad boy down. I feel like it's time to eat. High five. <laughs> Holy schmoly. That's, wow. Hands down, the best hot dog experience I've ever had. It's massive. You got truffle coming to the left, caviar uppercut from the bottom. You got the dog cheese squirting out at you. It's a flavor explosion, all right. Mm. The craziest part to me is you've got all these incredible ingredients on top, and the dog itself still shines through with flavor. Yeah. Everything else is like a glamorous costume for it. It took them 10 tries, they said, to get to this dog, balancing which ingredient to use. This moment right now, I never want it to end. And you know what? It never will end. Because look how much dog we got left. I think you actually ate more than me this time. I'm gonna That's eat this crazy. whole thing. Are you for real? Uh-huh. I can't believe we just ate a $169 hot dog and it was worth it. Ugh. Mission complete. What a day, what a dog. Technically this dog costs like over a thousand dollars. Why? Because I bought you guys plane tickets to Seattle. Which dog slash sausage was the most worth it at its price? The Tokyo dog was a little bit crazy, but 
at least you're giving to charities. But for me, the winner is Versku, because they have those unique dogs at a reasonable price, dog. I want to say Vicious Dogs, because I love a good deal. My vote actually, and probably very stupidly, goes to Tokyo Dog. This whole experience flying to Seattle with you guys and experiencing that monstrosity was like one of the most fun times of my life. Oh my God, are you about to propose? I think it's safe to say that if a hot dog is in your hand and you're eating it, that's a good dog. Fact. If you stick a hot dog on each of your fingers and go like this, you'll have a hot dog hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yes!